of the Pride Land. It was a special day in the Pride Land. Abraham had come to see King Mufasa's neighborborn son, Prince Simba, the animal chair and bow before the baby Ryan. The wizard or the bamboo or Simba hide for all the animals to see Prince Simba or be the Lion King one day. Mufasa's brother Scar didn't go to see the new princess. He was angry because Simba was next in line to be king. Scar had always wanted to be king. Simba grew into a happy and playful cop. He has fun chasing grasshopper and practice pausing. They were so much to gain. One day Mufasa took Simba to the top of Pride Rock. He showed Simba the kingdom. Mufasa warned Simba never to go beyond the Pride Land. It was a very dangerous place, said Mufasa. Later that day, Simba ran into his uncle's car. Will you play with me? Simba asked. No, but I will tell you a great place to go, the elephant grapier, Scar Sturger. Soon, Simba and the friends Nella sent up to the elephant grapier. Then they were both acted. It was their first time exploring somewhere new. You, father, you not go there. Your disaster, Mufasa, acted. You are crossing behind the Pride Land. But it was too late. Three hungry hyenas turned them. This was Carl's plan. Carl had sent the hyenas to get right of Simba and Nila. Suddenly, there was a rogue's roar. This was Mufasa. He stuck the hyenas with his paw. Never come near my son again, he roared. The hyenas were no much for Mufasa, and they ran away. That night, Mufasa and Simba were for a walk. Look at the stars, Mufasa told Simba. The great king of the fast looked down on us. They will be the to guide you. And so will I. The next day, Simba says, Scar again, your father had a surprise for you, said Scar. Go to the canyon. The surprise was Scar's plan again. Scar sent a pack of robust. They stamped right toward Simba. Mufasa come to save his son. But Scar pushed Mufasa off the cliff. Mufasa or dad, Simba, what, what have you done? It was your fault, Scar right? Run away, run away, and never return. So Simba felt dirty. He ran far, far away from the Pride Land. Simba wandered through the desert under the blinding sun, he goes tired and purposed. Eventually, Simba opened his eyes, overturned toward Pumbaa, and Mirkat caught Timon. But gazing down at him, you nor died, said Pumbaa. We saved you. Pumba and Timon took Simba to the jungle home. They taught him how to rip there and they even taught him to eat wiggly bugs. Simba ran to swim in the river and play at all day. In time, Simba grew into a big strong lion. One day, Simba ran into a pretty lion. It was his old friend Nella. The two lions were happy to see each other again. Simba and Nella took a long walk through the jungle. Nara 
and Simba that Scar had destroyed the Pride Lands. She asked him to him to come back. I can, Simba said. We have afraid to go back. That night, Simba heard heard a familiar voice. He looked up and said his father's face among the star. Simba, remember who you are. You are my son and the one and only true king. Mufasa told him. Simba finally returned to the Pride Lands. Scar could believe his eyes. Simba has still a little He he I come back to find my kingdom. Simba said. Scar ordered the hyenas to attack Simba. Scar and the hyena forced Simba for the Edgar of the clay. Where is my leader, sacred Simba? You did it kill your father, I did, Scar whispered. Simba was so angry that he ripped back to up to fight. Scar fell from the clay and was going forever. Simba rode broadly. Simba finally became king of the Plaid Land. Nala and two went to his side and whispered, Welcome home. The, the end. end.